Nobody knows lobster better than the founders of Cousins Maine Lobster. And today, these guys, these cousins, are here making their famous lobster rolls. Please welcome back to our home two of our very favorite people, Cousins Jim Salikas and Sabin yeah. Lopez. Yeah. Yeah. You got, you got his name right. Because well, she's Greek. Greek. Yeah. Salikas yeah. is, you know, so Sabin was a little confusing. <laughs> but we definitely get your lobster rolls. We love them, by the way. You, you, you get them right 150% of the time. Now, before we start this, I would just like to mention at our counter, Jim um, oh. Jim had a, a, oh, excuse me. Yes, you Almost had, done. Oh, still wow. finishing up on you had about six minutes to create this headband yeah. from yeah. your bag. You did a great job. I, well, I don't understand why it's all so tough. I had six minutes, actually four, because I ran to the bathroom. Okay. Um, uh, didn't wash good. my hands, but still. I'll be making the lobster. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I also uh, changed the oil in my car. I, it's I not a big deal. Are those glued I, to your head? Or? Now we are. I actually overdid it with the hot glue. <laughs> uh, it's burning like you couldn't imagine. <laughs> really. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know what? Like the lobster will make you forget everything. Yes. Also, All right. at our counter from Genius Picasso, Alex Rich. And we're going to be speaking with you in just Welcome a minute. All right. But first, we're going to talk about these lobster rolls. So so at your restaurant and, and in the truck, you, you have lobster tots. Mm. Um, lobster grilled cheese, keep all kinds. They're, they're very creative dishes. But when it comes to your lobster rolls, you keep, <laughs> keep it very simple. Yeah, we're uh, we're well. Saban's a simple guy. Um, uh, so yes, wow. we focus just Already? on the lobster meat. Yeah. <laughs> we think it's uh, it's how we were raised. Our mothers would steam lobsters. They'd pull the lobster meat out, and just a little bit of dip in butter or mayo. Um, we have the best product in the world from Maine, claw, knuckle, and tail. So we want you to taste that, have no distractions. Okay. When you're your You're roll. serious about your rolls. We're serious. Not joking. So today we're making two different type of lobster rolls that are very different and a bit controversial, one of them. Ooh. Ooh. So one is a Maine Ooh. roll, right? Maine lobster roll. And the other one is the Connecticut roll. Yes, yes. So our Maine roll, um, both of them will use this style of bread, country kitchen bread. It is uh, white on each side. We butter and toast it. Okay. So it's perfect golden brown. Mm. Um, <laughs> And then our main roll is going to be chilled with a little bit of mayonnaise inside okay. and chilled lobster meat. And our what? other roll. The other roll is my favorite. So that's the Connecticut roll. It's the warm one you're eating. Mm. Okay, so it's Maine lobster, claw, knuckle, tail meat. We warm it with a little butter, a little lemon, and it's served in the same roll. So, you know, it's kind of like steaming a lobster and pulling mm. the lobster out and oh, dunking wow. it in butter. Oh, Look at him do that. Does anyone have Chardonnay? Is that Chardonnay in these cups? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. What's going yeah. on? Yeah. yeah, I think. In Orleans, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that is yeah. not the traditional one. That's not. So yeah. it's yeah. not how it's done in Maine. Both of our mothers were very upset when we started doing this. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. Were they? Against the grain. Yeah, against huh? the grain. But you know yeah. what? People have spoken, and it's our absolute right. number one seller throughout every location yeah. in the country. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, right. so it starts with the, the oh. crispy bun. That's right. So we put the bun. butter crispy on bun. it, yes. and then toast the bun. And we're going to take this wow. little brush. Don't worry, Jim. I'll do everything. Look at this. Saban's going to pretend to be a chef, okay. like okay. normal. But we make sure that we coat the entire white side of the bun. Which is also coming from Maine, uh -huh. and then I'm going to give it to him. Oh, oh wow! Oh, Good I teamwork. I like yeah. what you did there. Wow. And then we're just going to hear that skillet kind of make it until it's golden brown. So whether you have a skillet or whether you have a griddle, this is the end and product. This is what comes out. This beautiful Ooh. little toasted yeah. bun, the perfectly and, toasted bun, I might add. Perfect toasted. Perfect texture. Yeah. With the crispiness and the yeah. soft dough. Go on. We have nice buns. <laughs> just I think I've heard that set, before. I set you up. Oh, you did. All right. So we'll now you put the mayo in. See how quick that was. Oh my. Fast. Did you see? <laughs> this is the only one he's ever done successfully. Very well. So we're just going to put a little That's bit of mayonnaise right terrible. inside here. That's just regular mayonnaise. Just regular mayonnaise. Okay. So you can Jeez. see it. Just line the inside of it. Beautiful. And then we're going to take our claw, knuckle. Am I making this right now? You're making oh, it. I just don't know. Right You're not so doing anything. Oh, do you want me to? Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 The Greeks. The Greeks. Should I break a plate? Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, out here. Making me blush. Yeah. No, it makes me blush. <laughs> so I'll do it for you because I want to have your hands stay Thank nice and you. clean. That's wow. so nice. And because I just Jen. care about you. So we'll, <laughs> we blend it all up. So this would be the claw, knuckle, and tail. So you're using all the parts of the lobster. Yes. So this is the knuckle, nice, sweet, and tender. The claw, really juicy. And the tail uh, is the delicacy of the uh, lobster. We're using the whole lobster, a little bit of a different texture because Saban likes to have 
all the cases the belong. Right, why not? You know, yeah, they, they actually have different tastes. Yeah, so the claw and the knuckle are sweeter and a little more tender, but people love the tail. My mother, that's her favorite part of the lobster, so we incorporate it all in the lobster roll, so you're going to taste different flavors wow. and different textures. Who that's doesn't beautiful. love a little tail? Look at that. All right. yeah, so there's the main roll. Don't worry, I'm going to make the Connecticut roll oh. for you. Right go ahead, save the So what I'm going to do is just a little bit of butter in that same skillet. Did you see how my roll came out just absolutely wow. perfect? Wow. Yes. Thank you. you know, Not you as first. Know, exactly. applause, you know, applause would be fine. Yeah. But I'm going to do it for the Italian, huh? Little wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little claw, little knuckle tail, and I like to have it just warm. So I'm going to put it in there. You hear that? No, it's Ooh. uncooked. So how long are you going to warm it up for? Because you don't want it to overcook, right? Great question. Yeah, we don't want it to overcook. It's already cooked. So you're going to put it in there just to take the chill off, make it a little warm on the Ooh. outside. With so just maybe like 10 or 15 well, he's, seconds. He's, he's burn try to have him burn himself. Yeah, you know that's what, what we tried. That's our insurance policy. Yeah. Stop right. it. Right <laughs> so just about 10, 15 seconds just to warm it up. Okay. And again, if you overcook it, it's chewy and rubbery. This is Maine lobster, yeah. the best lobster in the world. And we're done. If we get the hide, that's it. If we hide this from him, he has to do it with his bare hands. No, no, oh. no. I'm see. So now oh. you're gonna like mine better. Oh. I think. Wow. See, I gave you more lobster than he did. So wow. Yeah, and then you, you just what? you just dip it in butter. Yeah, we're gonna do a little butter on top. Do you guys like it? Do you have a favorite? I already. I'm already. I know. I went through yeah. them all. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I ate them too fast. You notice the difference? Yeah. yeah. Right. Everybody wins. Oh, look at that butter on top. Just a little butter on top. Well, as a guy with a terrible shellfish allergy, I'm actually doing okay. My tongue is a My tongue is a little bit. Yeah. I, I want to talk about your new book, Cousins you. Maine Lobster. <laughs> yes. yeah. So your new book is really amazing because it talks about how you just had the seafood truck and you took the seafood truck and turned it into a multi-million dollar business with your restaurants, et cetera. For those budding entrepreneurs out there who want to start a business, what kind of advice would you give them? Because you guys really killed it. Thank you, thank you. So um, my piece of advice would be to have humility. You know, we say it all the time. Um, from day one, we said we didn't have an ego. Um, we didn't know everything, so we would ask a million questions um, from experts or family friends, whoever knew what we were trying to find out, because um, we didn't know everything, so we would ask, we would learn it, uh, and trying to make ourselves those experts. So take yeah. that bit of advice into a new business um, because you don't know everything when you That's start. True. And Saban still doesn't really know much. You guys also seem to have fun with what you're doing. Yeah, we yeah. do. Which is so contagious. We have a blast. Yeah. We have a blast. And that's the whole point. If you're running your own business and you're, you're taking a leap of faith, you want to have fun, um, you want to be fearless in what you do. So we talk about this in the book where we're saying, you know, Society kind of tells you to always follow one certain path and to go this yeah. way. And we noticed uh, as our business grew, the only times it kind of stayed stagnant was when we were scared. Yeah. But when we were fearless and when we actually just took risks, our business thrived. So we talk about in the book, entrepreneurs have to be fearless. They have to follow their dreams, follow their gut. And oftentimes, we're taught not to follow our gut. And, um, you know who? I didn't even believe what did, you said. Did, did you, you guys believe what I just said? said? Wow. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know yeah. who actually <laughs> read your book about being fearless and taking risks? Well, Did you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look at. I, I, I was willing to sit here with this on my head. <laughs> yeah. And if that's not a risk, more pick, glue, more pick glue. up a copy of their fabulous book, Cousins Maine Lobster. It's wonderful. These guys are great. You're welcome back anytime.